Whether you're a novice or experienced Factorio player, you're bound to run into the dreaded train no path error. This video is intended to help you troubleshoot said errors. Tip number one, check that your rails are connected to your destination. You never know if maybe you forgot to lay down a track or if a biter came in and destroyed a piece of rail without you realizing it. So to narrow down which part of track to assess, open your locomotive menu just by clicking on the locomotive itself. And if the train station that you're meaning to travel to appears red, just like this one here, that is the train station that your train cannot path to. So you know to look between your current train location and that destination to assess for missing track to fix it. And just by looking in the train menu here, I can see that I'm missing this little piece of track right here. So I should be able to just lay that down and have the no path error fixed. Tip number two, make sure you have the right train station destination. For example, did you accidentally label your destination to coal, just like I did here, when really this should be going to an iron outpost? If the trains don't end up sharing tracks, just like my complicated setup here, there's no way for this train to end up at that destination, which is why you would be getting an error in the first place. This is an especially easy mistake to make when you end up with multiple trains and train stations, the further into the game that you get, and of course, the more complicated your train network gets. Tip number three, are your train stations turned off? If you are using train logistics or circuitry to turn on or off your train stations, you may need to adjust these settings if your train isn't going to where you want or when you want it to go. An easy way to see if your train stations are turned on or off is to toggle the train stop names in map mode just below the mini map here. From map mode, you can see in real time the trains that are white are turned on, the ones that are red are turned off. Tip number four, check to see if your locomotives are in the correct direction. This might be a problem if you're only using one set of rails for your train to travel in both directions, just like I am with these pair of train stations here. If you're using this system, make sure you have at least one locomotive facing one direction, at least one locomotive facing the other direction, and your cargo wagons in the middle. To change the direction of your locomotive, go ahead and delete the ones that are in the incorrect position. And then from your inventory, go ahead and click on the locomotive icon and keep it in your hand for just a second here. And you'll wanna to start to preemptively place it down, but don't click on your left mouse button yet because you wanna get it in the correct position first by clicking the R button, which allows it to rotate to the opposite direction. So now that you have it facing the correct direction, go ahead and do your left mouse click button and you can go ahead and place those down and they will now be in the correct direction. After we put some fuel in our train stations here, we can go ahead and have it go to the Muppet train station and we will no longer have a no path error. Tip number five. Lastly, if checking the first four tips does not prove helpful, it probably means you have a signaling problem and there's a couple ways of troubleshooting these issues. The first way to check your signals is to manually scan your blocks or train junctions to see if you can easily spot the problem. You can even do this from the map feature as long as you have radar coverage or a nearby vision. If you're having a hard time spotting the error, make sure that you're at least narrowing down the area of track to be assessing. Again, to do this, go ahead and click on your locomotive and in the menu, you can narrow down the train station that the train is having a difficult time pathing to. Once you've narrowed down the piece of track to be assessing, all you have to do is follow along and analyze your signals as you go, paying very close attention to their positioning along the rails, as well as making sure that they adhere to your system of either left-hand or right-hand drive. Eventually, you'll stumble upon the signaling error, which I just have here. In some cases, it might be that you're accidentally missing a signal or you have accidentally placed a signal that you don't really need. In this case, the error is the latter because I have a chain signal facing the wrong direction. So I have two chain signals essentially confusing my train that is at this train station here. Therefore, by deleting the incorrect signal, it'll get rid of the confusion for the train, therefore allowing it to pass through and get rid of that no pathing error. If you can't find the signaling problem or you have a really complicated train network like me, I'm gonna give you a tip to make finding the signaling error even quicker than the previous example. The first thing you have to do is click on your train locomotive to find out which train station you're having a problem pathing to. So at least I've narrowed down that this train over here at my iron smelting area is having a problem getting all the way to this train station over here, which is circle east top iron plate drop off. Staying in the train locomotive menu, all you have to do is press the left control button and use your mouse to end up kind of trying to find a way to get a route to your intended train station. In my case, I know that 
this is the route that my train would normally take to get to the intended train station. So if I just slowly continue to drag this along, you're gonna see it's gonna be changing positions when I get to about this train junction here. So that helps me to narrow down the fact that the train signaling issue is probably within this junction here. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and left click on that area there, which will be around the last point where my train can travel before it ends up hitting the chain signaling error. And then from there, I'll go ahead and hop out and then we'll take a look around to see if we can find it. So we've made it and this is the last signal that this train could path to before it gets the no pathing error. So just looking around in this area here, even though it looks like a very complicated signaling network in this area, if we're just paying attention to this set of tracks going in this direction here, we can see that there's a chain signaling error here. And it's actually this signal here because it is on the wrong side of the tracks. It should end up being on this side of tracks. So fixing it there, you can see that the train can now path through and there is no longer a train pathing error. Additionally, when reviewing your signaling errors, make sure you're checking for things like missing signals or signals on the wrong side of the train track as we have seen in the last few scenarios. This is what it looks like to fix a signaling error in a scenario where there is a missing signal. It looks like I am missing a signal because unfortunately my train isn't moving to my new outpost, but I imagine I already know which signal it is. It is this one, a rail signal that needs to go opposite of it. There we go, is the train gonna move now? Yes, it is. And then remember, if you're using a single track with a double headed train, your rail signals need to be directly opposite of a chain signal. Another tip when checking your signals is to hold a signal in your hand, which ends up making the different rail blocks more noticeable by showing their different colors and therefore much more easy to see. For more tips on signaling, feel free to check out my additional train basics and signaling tutorial linked over here to the top right. Well, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful and these tips will make it so you can plan and troubleshoot an extravagant rail network just like this. Thanks again and I'll plan on seeing you guys next time.